All right, what's up, everybody? Uh, today's about the first day in three weeks that hasn't been pouring rain all day. So we are off to the bait shop. I'm gonna go do some fishing and some crabbing. And we'll, uh, I'll catch up with you guys later. What's up, guys? I really didn't get to record too much of my setup here. But, uh, you know, it's Florida, so it could be raining here in about five seconds, you know. Got a chance to at least get a couple crabs. Uh, I got a mud minnow on my rod here. I'll tell you about that in a moment. show you guys how I do things and most of you are thinking why don't you just go get a trap and uh, it's because I can do this and have a lot more fun <laughs> and it's also pretty fun just to watch those faces when you hand line in a couple crabs every now and then so the trick to this is you come in really slow you can feel them pulling on it right here it's kind of fighting you but He's not really fighting. You'll feel if they let go, which I think this guy just did. So I'm going to let it sit there for a second. There he goes back on. So I feel him fighting a little bit. Let's bring him up nice and slow. No huge rush on this. Kind of feel when you're starting to leave the ground with him because he'll be grabbing onto the ground a little bit and doing a little bit more tugging. My trick to this is as soon as I get him within sight, I bring him straight up in the air because crabs can only see you out the front, right? And you can come up underneath him with the net and they will never even know it. And that's how you feel. And he took almost all my bait too. I keep getting this huge crab and it's too freaking big for my net. I've dropped it probably three times now and I'm getting real tired of it. So let's see if I can get this bad boy.
see all these minnows tearing up my chicken. Yeah, that's kind of what I have going on. What's up everybody? Uh, I just got back home. I got my crabs on ice down here. Pull one out. See this is a male crab. Take a knife. Right there on the tip of the apron. Right down the middle. What that does is it instantly kills the crab. You can get your knife back out. So now he's dead. And I'm going to flip him back over. Take him right here. Finger on the point. Other thumb right here on the tip of his leg. I'm not going to do that actually. I'm just going to cut them right down the middle. Same thing with this guy, on the tip of the apron. He's dead immediately. Now you can see the gills in here. Let's clean those out. Then you want to pull off the face. And 
give him a quick rinse in the sink. Also, while you're here, flip up his little uh, mandible here. Pull his apron off. Now get more into the sink. I was a little nervous on that one. My bad. Never done this before. I actually just learned this from uh, deer meat from dinner. So it took me a couple tries, but I think I figured it out finally. This guy's dead. Same thing. Pick him up from the back side. Put your thumb right here. Same thing, take the gills out right here. In the face. Peels the apron back.
this yellow stuff? This guy doesn't have a whole lot in him. This yellow stuff you see, that's not bad to eat. That's just fat. It's actually delicious. Personally, I don't have a whole lot of it. I'm not going to go out of my way to clean it out. I just want to say while I'm doing this, sorry I didn't get more of the uh, catching process on here. I know this is my first catch, clean, and cook. But uh, the dock I was at got pretty busy. And there wasn't exactly a whole lot of room to film while I was there. And like typical luck I have, my battery died and I left my backup sitting at home. So I got a couple of them for you. You did miss a crazy one where I had him in the net on the dock and he jumped out. And I got to chase after him. Other than that, you guys just missed me hand modern in some crabs. A lot of females today. Obviously, I threw those back. These guys are a little smaller than I'd like typically, but I was hungry. I'm gonna go to a good home. Once again, just right down the middle. Okay, so now that I got the crabs all clean, as you can see, I'm gonna season them. Start with some paprika. I'm gonna go kind of liberal with this. This dish I'm making right now is gonna be a little bit spicy. I like spicy food. So I'm going pretty hard with the cayenne and the paprika. Just right here, cayenne. It's all gonna get mixed up in there anyway, so it really doesn't matter too much. Can't forget the garlic powder. A little bit of onion salt. Some crushed black pepper. I'm gonna go really heavy with this because I just found out that I don't have any lemon pepper seasoning, which is probably my favorite thing to put on crabs. So, I'm gonna do a lot of pepper, a little bit of lemon juice in the end. And then, something you can never forget, Everglades seasoning. This is the fish and chicken. I really like the heat, but I just ran out of it. It's another thing I picked up from deer meat from dinner about three or four years ago. So tried it one time and haven't come off of it since. I use it on everything now. Man, doesn't that just look delicious? A little salt at the end. Kind of mix those up nice and good. Put that all over there. You see, that looks delicious. All right, now we're over here at the stove. Got a pan heated up with some olive oil. Take my crab and put it in there. Spread them out a little bit. The same thing when you're steaming crabs, you're kind of just cooking these a little bit past after they turn uh, bright red. You see they're already starting to right here and here. Get both sides cooked. And 
one of the reasons I went so heavily with the seasoning is we're actually going to use that at the end to make our butter sauce. You do want to have a lot extra left in the pan once it's all said and done. Another part of this is, like I said earlier, I really like spicy foods. So we're going to throw some jalapenos in there. Spread those out evenly. Seeds still in them. Over here I have my garlic butter going. A little, little bit of lemon juice, just because I don't have any lemon pepper seasoning. Do about a cap and a half. And just a little bit of apple cider vinegar, about a half a cap. All that vinegar does is really keeps this crab meat nice and soft. Gives a nice sweet flavor on top of the spice that I'm gonna have. It smells delicious, guys. I wish you could smell this right now. The reason I didn't put the garlic in there at the beginning is I didn't want it to burn on the pan because I'm actually going to use that also for the butter sauce at the end. Hey, I know this might sound a little weird, but at the end here you're going to take some water just to kind of rinse the crabs off. You really don't need all that seasoning on the crab itself. And you're going to want that in the pan for later. When I do this, I want to make sure that I'm leaving all the peppers in the pan when I come back and do the butter sauce.
steam off a little bit, turn the pan down, and we'll come right back with the butter sauce. All right, so as you can see, we let some of that water boil off. Take a little bit more lemon juice here. This is on the little. A little bit more cracked black pepper. And a little bit more of this Everglades fish and chicken. Just to top it off, a tad bit more cayenne just to make sure we're at the heat level I'm looking for. And we're going to throw our butter in here. Alright, so our butter sauce is done and brought down to a simmer. I'm scoop out these jalapenos, some of that garlic. This is the final product here of my hot and spicy shrimp with some garlic, butter, rice. Uh, I just want to say thank you for watching my video. Thankfully it didn't rain. It's been raining for like three weeks here. That's why I've been posting it on Instagram. If you haven't checked out my Instagram and you found my YouTube page by accident or on purpose, go check it out at Gunshine State Exploration. It's a cool channel, cool page. We show all kinds of things, uh, anything from outdoors activity to me working out pretty fun. Have a good time with it. I'm going to dig in here and eat. Thanks for watching one more time and tell your friends.